Okay, we are here with parallel intersecting and perpendicular lines. And so parallel lines are lines that never cross. And it's actually annoying that in this drawing, in this illustration here, that they do not have this indicator here showing us that these would be parallel. And so for, for that, for those to truly be parallel and for it to, us to really prove that they're parallel or know that they're parallel, it should have an, a set of arrows on it like that that would indicate that it's parallel. Intersecting lines are any pair of lines that just run into each other, like roads uh, at intersections going down the, going through town. And then perpendicular lines are intersecting lines that intersect and form a 90 degree angle. And so all perpendicular lines are intersecting lines. Only some intersecting lines are perpendicular. And so as we go through these, we're gonna, we're gonna actually go through and fix what they did wrong here, the, these are supposed to be parallel, so we're going to put the parallel symbol on them. These are also supposed to be parallel, so we're going to put the parallel symbol on them. And since this, this is the second set of parallel lines, I'm going to use two arrows there like that. I know that it's the third one since we already had one in the example, but I, I want to show you that, uh, that we can use uh, different numbers of these little arrows that I'm putting on here to kind of match up which pairs of lines we are saying are parallel. And so for number one, this is not parallel. Number two, parallel. Number three, not parallel. Parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular for the next set here. So we have intersecting. We have parallel. And we have intersecting again. Here for number seven, we have both intersecting and perpendicular. I think that they actually only wanted us to write perpendicular, but I am going to say intersecting and perpendicular because that figure is in fact both. For number eight, we sort of have to extend the drawing to see what's going to happen here. Those lines are in fact going to intersect if we extend them. And so we would call that intersecting. Now you may be thinking, but Mr. in the original drawing, they weren't intersecting. That's right, but those are lines and they continue on forever. So we can continue the line past the end of the arrow because that's what the arrow indicates is that the line continues going forever. Similar with number nine, that has an arrow on it going down. If that did not have an arrow, like let's say this was just a line segment and it stopped right there, those would not intersect. But because it has an arrow, we're going to be able to extend that line forever in that direction. And they are in fact intersecting. And they appear to be perpendicular. The, the sad part about this worksheet is they did not put the square on there for us to represent perpendicular. In your work and in our work in geometry, we can never assume anything. We have to recognize that unless it is explicitly stated that those are perpendicular with the little square in the corner or that they are parallel with the little line, the little arrows that we draw on the lines, we can never assume anything. If, if it's given to us, it has to be explicitly stated that those things are perpendicular or parallel or what have you.